How's it going everyone, Vertic Designs here and for today's video I want to show you all the amazing Adobe Firefly and I know I'm a little bit late to the party as always but I finally got access to it and I just want to show you all how incredible this really is. Now the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and get yourself access if you don't already have access to Firefly and you can do this by pressing the join beta button at the top. Once you do that, you will then send the request and you just need to be patient with it and Adobe will eventually get to your request and give you access. Once you do have access, you can then click on the blue generate button right down here and this will take us to the text to image gallery. Now, the cool thing about this is that with the gallery, you can actually copy that specific prompt just by hovering over the top and let's say that you really like this one and you want to create your own version of it you can just click on the try prompt and it will bring up that prompt that created this image right here. If you were to create your own creation or wanted to generate something completely different, you can go to the text box down below and then type in, let's say something like a frog and then skateboarding on a sunny day, wearing sunglasses, And we also want this to be hyper-realistic. You can either type it in as normal, like this one, or you can use keywords and just use a comma in between. And this will just turn them into keywords. You can click on generate, and this will then start to generate four different variations of that image. And as you can see, these ones are actually really cool looking. The second one is quite cool. I quite like this one. This one, I don't even know what to say. I mean, that skateboard is a little bit different. Now, the one thing I really like about Adobe Firefly is that the user interface is so simple and so easy to use. You have all of your options on the right side and they are all simple buttons. The one thing that I really like the most is definitely the aspect ratio. Because as a YouTuber, I personally prefer to use 16 by nine, which makes it so much easier to create a thumbnail and it saves us all the time from having to expand and make it wider. So it just makes it so much easier being able to press that button and in a few seconds, it's automatically made it widescreen. It has also changed the look of it. So as you can see, we now have some different variations, but let's say that you wanted to also create a variation around the very first one that you created. If you really like the first one, you can click on show similar and it will regenerate the other three to make it look exactly the same as the first one or similar to the first one. And I'm actually quite impressed with that. I'm really happy with the other three. These are definitely a lot better compared to the first ones. We can also change the content type by, let's say we wanted a graphic version rather than artistic, and this will apply it onto here. It's not really made much of a difference, but Personally, I prefer it before, so I'm just going to remove it and then just generate it as it was before that. We also have some styles. If you wanted to, let's say, make this neon or you wanted to create a pattern look, we can also go to all and we can have some other ones such as steampunk. This one will be really interesting to see. If we apply it onto here, I wonder how this is going to look. And as you can see, it's definitely given it an attempt to create a little bit of the clothing from a steampunk. It's changed the sunglasses on this one. And this one, yeah, it's a little bit more steampunky looking. But personally, like I said, I prefer it hyper realistic and have it before. But if you wanted to, you have all of your effects right here. Scrolling further down, you also have three more options. And these ones are pretty much like filters. If you wanted to change it to a warm tone or vibrant color, we can also change the lighting to either studio lighting, golden hour, and the very last one is whether you want the background blurry, a close-up shot, a wide angle, and some of the other options. So let's actually try a close-up shot that is a golden hour and vibrant color. Let's see what it generates. It looks basically the same. However, it's just got more of a HDR look to it. It's just got more color to it compared to before. So I'm quite happy with that. I would say between the third one and the fourth one, I really like these, but I also like the second one as well. This one looks really cool. It doesn't have a skateboard, 
<laughs> it seems to have lost this skateboard, but it still looks cool. And then finally, once you're happy with your final result, so let's say you wanted this one, you can either go to the three dots and submit to Firefly Gallery, or you can click on the download button right here. And this will come up with this message, basically saying the credentials. So what Adobe will do is it will apply a watermark to tell people it was generated by Adobe Firefly. You just want to click on continue. This will apply the credentials. And there we have it. There is the image that we've just generated. And that is pretty much it. That is Adobe Firefly. Let me know what you all think of this. And if you'd like to see a similar video to this, click on the screen, watch the next video. Until next time, I'll see you all in our next video. Bye.